Winning Cures Everything. Now for your hosts, Gary and Chris. We're moving into our college football playoff rankings. And this is, well, predictions for the end of the season. So we're predicting what, not what we think is going to happen or what we want to happen or we think should happen. Let's say that. We're predicting what we think will happen, will happen. on Selection Sunday. Not, not what is the ranking right now. What is the right. ranking going to be going forward? Yep. That's, that's what we're, we're looking at here. Uh, so we can talk about scenarios and, and all that different kind of stuff. Um, I'll go ahead and go first with mine. I do the number five and number six. I think Alabama finds a way to beat Auburn, that this is the prime Nick Saban spot for them to eke out a win, win one for the Gipper, you know, win one for two a man, you know, all that kind of stuff, right? So they've got two weeks to get it figured out. I think they can figure it out by then. I think Alabama sits at five. I think Baylor goes to six. I think that Baylor can win the rest of their games and – they will win against Oklahoma in the Big 12 title game. Now, obviously, everything went right for Baylor last night, and they still lost. But crazier things have happened. I think that Baylor can win out, and they would be at number six. Uh, If this was, you know, Oklahoma with only one loss, I think it could be a different scenario here. But I've got Bama five, Baylor six. I've got LSU at one. Ohio State at two, Clemson at three, and then I got Utah at four. I think Utah is going to demolish Oregon, and I think they will get in. I think LSU beats Georgia in the SEC championship game. Uh, I don't think that Georgia can score enough points to keep up there. So LSU gets in. Georgia is knocked out. Ohio State beats Minnesota or whoever they play in the Big Ten championship game. Clemson, of course, wins against our boy Justin Fuente and Virginia Tech in the ACC championship game. And Utah beats Oregon and that will be your four. LSU against Utah and Clemson against Ohio State. And Clemson, Ohio State will be in the Fiesta Bowl. Yeah, I don't. I just don't see that happening. I mean, a one-loss Utah, I just don't see the committee putting in. I, I just don't. I, I've got LSU, Clemson. Oh, sorry, LSU, Ohio State, Clemson, Oklahoma. You've got Oklahoma. Uh, you think Oklahoma wins out, huh? Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I could see they it. Got, they got through the toughest game of the schedule last night. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably That's right. The worst that, game they're going to play that rematch against Baylor. If that happens, it's not going to be a hostile environment. It'll like, be Dallas, and it'll be eighty twenty Oklahoma fans. I was just about to say, yeah, it'll it'll all be Oklahoma. It won't be in Waco, and and everything will be going their way. Uh, you may be right. You may and be then right. If they get in, or if they go went out and they've got the one loss, they're going to get in over everybody else. The Jalen Hurts story is a story everybody loves. The Lincoln Riley story is a story everybody loves. And you know how college football cares about that stuff more than they actually care about the play. Oh, yeah. And, of course, you'll have Jalen going up against LSU again. You know, that kind of stuff. Yeah, I could I could see that happening. Jalen going back to uh, the Peach Bowl, back to Mercedes-Benz Stadium, which is where he got pulled. Yeah, where he got pulled. Yep. And then so, where he had his redemption story against Georgia the next year. Like, yeah, yeah, you're right. I mean, if if they went out, a hundred percent, Oklahoma. Oklahoma in. wins out. They're the nod, and I don't think it's close. Um, and and I, I I'm gonna tell you, I'm. This is an honest opinion, and Utah people can hate me all you want. This is how the committee's gonna see this. If if it's Utah out of the Pac-12 and Baylor out of the Big 12, they're gonna put in Georgia, a two-loss Georgia team. Because Georgia's loss will be a terrible loss, and then they'll have the loss to LSU. Georgia's going to get in. They're going to put a two-loss Georgia team in before they put in Utah or Baylor. You really think so? I believe that with all my heart. I believe that. I cannot wait for Tuesday night's rankings. I I want to. That won't. I mean, we won't see that in Tuesday's night's rankings, but that's going to happen. Now you you may you may be right. I don't know. Like that's that's they very interesting. The, we think the better team should go. That's how they've gotten Alabama in all these times. Is the you know are they the better team? Then they they're rightfully there, and they're going to say Georgia's the better team. Yeah. Wow. They're going to say Georgia's better than a one loss Alabama without Tua, and they're going to say Georgia's better than a one loss Utah, and they're going to say Georgia's better than a one loss Baylor. That's how they're going to justify. 
That's crazy. They're better than a one loss or two loss Minnesota. They're better than a one loss Penn State, maybe. They're, you know, they're, well, I guess both those teams will have two losses if Ohio State goes undefeated. But like, yeah, if that's going to happen. You think if if Michigan wins out, you think any chance Michigan could? Well, if Michigan wins out, absolutely, because then Michigan wins the Big Ten. No, nope, they've got two losses. Oh, the Mich- oh, yeah. Ohio okay. State that's, would still go. That's not, no, yeah. If Michigan beats Ohio State in the regular season, Michigan will get that. No question about that. Yeah, Michigan would get it over Georgia. But, yeah, but a two-loss team that's a big-name school will give the nod over Baylor or Utah. That's, that's nuts. That is how the committee does it, though. And I don't know that Michigan wouldn't be deserving if they beat Ohio State because they won to get there as opposed to, in my scenario, Georgia – losing to get there yeah 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 you're right you're right all right that's gonna wrap up the show of course go and check out tunicatravel.com tunica mississippi the sponsor of the show they uh they are the south's premier sports gambling destination they got six incredible sports books tunicatravel.com will tell you more about them you can also find us over at winningcureseverything.com if you're watching on youtube hit that subscribe button hit that like button leave us some comments tell us what your picks for the playoff are Tell us what you think we got right, what we got wrong, et cetera. If you're listening on the podcast, especially Apple Podcast, hit subscribe. Leave a nice review. Five stars, whatever it is. Tell us how much you like us. Make it entertaining. We'll read it on the show, of course. <laughs> uh, winningcureseverything.com is the website. Of course, our picks, previews, podcasts, videos, all of our social media platforms. We appreciate you guys hanging out with us, and we will see you all again next time. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.